Hey y'all, it's me, Liz Not Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another recipe video. So as you can see from the title, I will be bringing you guys another keto dessert recipe. And just like the others, this was one I was really, really excited to share. So um, just go ahead and sit back, relax, and we're gonna get right into the video. <music> So first you want to start off by melting your chocolate chips along with 10 tablespoons of butter. You can do this in the microwave or on the stove. Um, I did mine in the microwave and then you just want to make sure that all the butter is melted thoroughly. And then you can just set that aside and then we're going to start on the dry ingredients which includes almond flour, um, cocoa powder, powdered swerve or whatever powder sweetener you want to use. And we're also going to put in some instant coffee. And then we're also going to add baking powder. And then once we got everything in the bowl, we'll just go ahead and mix it thoroughly. I'm just using the fork to make sure that I don't have any lumps or anything left in the mixture. So just make sure you get everything nice and smooth. And then we're going to get that chocolate and butter mixture back out. And then we're going to add in our three eggs minus the shells and then we're just going to mix it um, thoroughly and then you'll see at this point the mixture should become like pudding like texture so just keep mixing it until it thickens up and everything kind of combines nicely and then we're going to add in the vanilla i know right here it looks like i added quite a bit but it was because i was using imitation so i wanted to make sure i had that vanilla flavor in there um so yes go ahead and mix that in thoroughly and then we're gonna pour this mixture into the dry mixture and just mix everything well. And right here I'm using a rubber spatula to mix it, but you'll see me switch to a hand mixer. I just wanted to make sure that the batter was um, smooth and everything was combined thoroughly, so that's why I switched to that. But I'm sure you can get, get it just as good with the whisk or rubber spatula. And then you're going to add in um, the extra chocolate and walnuts to this mixture. And then again, just make sure you're uh, combining all the ingredients together thoroughly. And then we're going to transfer this to our baking pan. Um, you can use parchment paper like I did, or you can just spray your pan with a little bit of nonstick. And um, once you put that in there, just going to smooth it out and try to get it as even as possible. And then we're just going to pop that in the oven on 375 and then while that's baking we're going to go ahead and get started on the caramel sauce so it's going to start off with a stick of butter and then you're also going to have two tablespoons of the monk fruit sweetener um, it's the golden kind so just put that in there and then we're going to melt this down and allow it to come to like a slight boil and then once that begins to boil, we're going to slowly add in the heavy whipping cream and make sure that you're whisking constantly. So just keep whisking it as you're adding in the, the heavy whipping cream. Then once that begins to boil, go ahead and add in the vanilla. And again, just keep whisking this. You're going to whisk it at this point for about four to five minutes. After the four to five minutes, go ahead and kill the heat and just keep whisking it until all of the bubbles have subsided. And then you're gonna transfer this into like a glass jar or a mason jar and allow it to cool. And then now we're gonna go ahead and get started with um, building our Sunday. Now 
I tried to get a little bit fancy and put the caramel inside the glass and make it all cute, but it kind of turned out looking crazy, but it still tasted bomb. So just do whatever you like, however you like to build your sundaes, just do that. And then I did also end up um, warming up my brownie a little bit, a little bit too much to be honest. It was a little bit hot when I took it out, but I definitely think it made the sundae even more delicious. I just topped mine with of course more caramel sauce followed by some whipped cream and walnuts but y'all this recipe came out so good it's so perfect for those sweet tooth cravings or if you just have a craving for chocolate it's so easy to whip up so i hope you guys definitely try this out um as always thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am on the road to 100 subscribers so i appreciate all of you guys' shares and likes and comments um, but yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.